I love Linux and if you also love Linux, this is the right channel for you. Hello and welcome back uh, to my channel. Well, it's a long time since I posted my last video and there are several reasons for that. One is that I was writing a novel and today I want to show you what uh, application I used to write a novel. Um, it's open source. You can use it on Linux. So this video is for Linux fans and for writers. <laughs> so stay tuned. I used uh, the application Manuscript. Today I show you why I love this application and what is the difference to LibreOffice Writer or to MicroOffice Word. So uh, let's start. Here we have Linux Mint, but you can also use Manuscript um, on Debian, on Ubuntu, on Fedora, Arch Linux, OpenSUSE. And I think there is also a flat pack available for Manuscript. So let's open it. Manuscript. Here. Here it is. And now you see this is the first window you see after you start Manuscript. Um, here you can choose if you want to write fiction or non-fiction. And there is also a demo project here, uh, a book of acts. If you decide to write fiction, uh, you can open empty fiction, novel, novella, short story or trilog trilogy. For example, if you uh, write a fantasy epic book, if you write nonfiction, you have an empty nonfiction or a research paper. Well, as I said, I wrote a novel, so uh, this is fiction. And I always start with empty fiction. And the reason is that I write down my ideas with a pen and a sheet of paper uh, because I want to sort out what I want to write before I write. So. If this is done, I know uh, what I want. And so I choose empty fiction uh, because there are no configurations at all. I can do what I want if I choose empty fiction. If I choose novel, there are chapters, pre-configures, and, and I, I always would have to change something if I um, choose that. But with empty fiction, I create a new document. So let's create that. And uh, now we need a name for the document and a path. Uh, let's call the, the novel bestseller. Why not? We all want to write a bestseller, right? So save it here. Now we need a title again. This is a bestseller. And we also can add a, a, a subtitle, a series, a genre. I think this should be a mystery thriller. And the name of the author is, in my case, Joseph Moser. So this is all we have uh, as a general information. Now we can put down a summary. Of we can put down a one sentence summary. Um, let's say the whole novel is about a murder in the opera. In the opera. Okay, this is not even one sentence. Okay, now we need characters. We have a main character, secondary characters, or minor characters. Now, I would say, uh, I create a new character here with plus. Click on that. Now the name is not new character. Let's call the new character Bill Miller. So, and the importance is not minor. It's not secondary. It's main. Okay. And let's say the conflict, he's the victim. Okay. Bill Miller is the victim in this story or maybe one of the victims i don't know and now let's um create 
a second character, new character, and he is called Edward Snyder. Okay, why not? And he is the murderer. Okay, now we have victim and the murderer. Now we can go to plots. Um, this is very helpful if you have more than one plot. For example, if something happened 50 years ago and this is related to what is happening now. Next, we describe our world. For example, uh, we add a city like New York. And here you can describe um, the, the home of Bill Miller in New York. You can describe um, where he works, where he spends his time, where he is murdered, and so on and so forth. So you can describe that, oh, this is very helpful, but um, you can always look, if you forgot something about world, how does the living room look where Bill Miller uh, lives, for example. You can describe it here, uh, and then you always can go back if you forgot uh, some details. Here you can outline the plot. Um, click on that and create a new chapter. This is chapter one. Let's rename that and call it chapter one. Now let's create other chapters here. Boom, 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 boom. Now we have five chapters and we need some scenes inside the chapters. For example, Bill at home. Uh, let's create this. This is that here. Now we have a new scene. Let's rename that. Bill at home. And now the next scene we can create is Bill at work. Why not? Let's rename that. Bill at work. So now we have the scenes. We have the chapters. You can add as many chapters as you like. You can add as many scenes as you like. Now we write. Here we go to the editor. So we have the same here as in the outline. But the difference is now we can write. So, and you see here uh, the metadata, the properties. Bill at home, the first scene. Who is the person, the main character here? I think it's Bill Miller. The status is the first draft. The label is a scene. And the word count, what is our goal for this scene? Let's say it's 500. So now you can see here, oh, not 5,000. That would be too much. So here, no words of five hundreds. Now we can write something down. Uh, Bill is sitting in his living room drinking coffee. So this is the first sentence of a mystery novel called bestseller. So now you can see we have nine words and the goal is five hundreds. So we can always see um, how much or, or how many words we have to write to reach this goal of 500. Now let's go to the settings. You can change uh, how manuscript looks and uh, you also show progress in Charles next to words. Now we have uh, 51 uh, characters here, nine words. And um, if you want to show the characters, uh, you can do that here. Uh, now let's go to Fuse. Here you see we can uh, show the word count also here. Now we have in chapter one nine words written down. Uh, we can also show the word count in the text here. And now we see first scene, be at home, nine words. 
So we can always check um, how many words we have written um, here and here. So let's go to the text editor. I think this font uh, size is too small. Let's change that. This is now yeah, 16 is, is better. You can change the color. For example, if you don't like a white background or, uh, or um, a black uh, color of the font, you can change that blue or, or whatever you want. You can change uh, the line spacing. You can change the tab width. Now let's go uh, to the compile section because we want to export this file. Uh, what you have here is a msk file and this is not compatible with any text editor or a writing processor. So we have to compile it and export it in the format we want. So export to, we can choose uh, here uh, plain text, markdown, HTML, LaTeX, um, HTML with Pandoc. Um, that means you have to install Pandoc um, if you want to export it in a LaTeX or EPUB. This is an EPUB um, format, open document or DocX. Uh, this is the Microsoft Word format if you want to um, import it into um, a word processor. And here you can see with the preview button uh, what you get if you, for example, uh, export it into a plain text as TXT format. I hope I made it clear what's the main difference between manuscript and a word processor. The category is summary, characters, plots, word, outline, and you can jump to that if you uh, don't remember some facts about Bill Miller. What hair color does he have? How tall is he? What does he want to drink? What does he want uh, to eat? Uh, what is his favorite music group? Or whatever you like. You can uh, write it down here. And if you don't remember exactly, you can always jump here. And all the information you have here is included here. So I hope you like the video. If so, please leave a thumb up. I would appreciate that very much. And uh, writers out there who have seen this video, please uh, leave a comment. How do you write your novels? Uh, do you also use uh, a program like that? Uh, I'm very interested in such things. I know there are other alternatives um, which are only available in Windows or Mac OS and there are not so many uh, applications uh, in the Linux world. Um, there is Manuscript, there is Bibisco, this is uh, very similar to that. And if you want to use another program, uh, yeah, you, you need wine or you need uh, a virtual box or something like that. Uh, and so I'm, uh, I enjoy Manuscript very much because it's open source, it's available on Linux and it's good. So please um, subscribe, thumb, comment. Have a nice day. Bye bye.